Alright guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys some neat hidden features that some of you may not notice in iOS 7.1. As you most know that iOS 7.1 is a move up for iOS 7 and 7.0.6. It has a lot of new features as well as hidden features that most of you may not know. Um, most of these features are some that I didn't catch in my other video. If you want to go watch my other video on some new features and hidden other hidden features, then you can. Um, you can head over to my channel and check out that video. But here are some quick ones that I have noticed with playing with iOS 7.1 on my iPhone 5C. Um, so we'll get right to it. The first one that I've noticed is when as you can see right now I have Verizon I have 3G on I don't have LTE on um, and I have Wi-Fi if I turn off Wi-Fi and turn on airplane mode that airplane mode of course it takes out it searching for data okay and I've noticed that instead of having to turn off airplane mode before turning on Wi-Fi, I can turn on Wi-Fi at the same time and just have it restricted to Wi-Fi. Um, that is a new feature that I really like. I don't have to have it searching for internet connection while having Wi-Fi on. Also, you can toggle on Bluetooth at the same time um, or just Bluetooth. But I'm going to go ahead and, and turn airplane mode off and turn Wi-Fi back on. So the next hidden one that I found that I have found is about Siri. Um, most of you may know that Siri, you press the button, brings up Siri. Um, FaceTime. And then I could say, um, I'm making this video to talk about hidden features in iOS 7.1. And then I could tap, and when I'm done saying what I need to say. So, that is another hidden feature that most of you may not know. Most of you don't use Siri, but that is a hidden feature if you do. Um, another one is in the maps. It actually doesn't work for mine, but I found it in my friend's iPhone 5S. That if you go into maps and select a destination and start it, you can choose your audio source, such as things for Ford which Fords have sync in their trucks. Um, you can use sync to play your audio over for your directions to different places. Um, another one, some of you may not notice, is the notification center. It now says no notifications or no missed notifications. Um, of course, today is the same. Um, another one is in the weather app. Um, let me fix that. Here we go. We'll go to Las Vegas. Um, as you can see, we have a new Yahoo symbol down here. If you click on Yahoo, of course, it'll bring you to your search and look up Las Vegas. Alright, you guys. Um, there is one more, I think. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'm missing one. Oh, yes. But this is more... Not more of a hidden feature, but some of you may not know it. Um, passcode. It now has a passcode section to set your passcode. Um, you can click on passcode. It will ask you to enter your current passcode if you have one. And then you can change your passcode and set one if you need to. Um, I'll do a quick review of the inside the app. Of course, you get your regular passcode lock options um required passcode simple passcode voice dial siri toggle on when locked or passbook when locked or reply with message when locked um and erase data after 10 passcode failed attempts so that is it you guys for this tutorial i just wanted to add in them those quick hidden features that some of you may not notice and iOS 7.1. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to comment below if you have any other hidden features that you would like me to talk about. Um, 
Also, a quick one that I did not miss in my other video, it's not hidden, but if you go into settings and you go to general and go to restrictions, hit enable restrictions. Well, I don't think you have to do that. You can scroll down. As you can see, you have CarPlay. Um, I have CarPlay on, and that is for most cars, such as Lincoln, different cars like that. Some newer model cars would have that CarPlay iOS integration. All right, guys. Well, this will be it for this video. Be sure to comment and like this video, and please subscribe for future videos about your iDevice. This has been Apple Tech Help. Thanks, guys.